What is up guys? We got some Grand Theft Auto 5, some more gameplay, and this time we're doing some drifting in uh, the Corvette. I want to say it's a Corvette, even though it's not entirely a Corvette. It looks very close to a Corvette. A lot of you guys know that a lot of the cars in this game look very close to real cars that we know today. And that's what I really love about Forza, not Forza, what am I talking about? Man, not Forza. That's what I really love about GTA 5 is that they've actually made a lot of their cars similar to real life cars. So it makes me and probably a lot of other car lovers enjoy the game even more. And um, that's also just because of uh, there's probably been issues in the past to do with the violence and their people don't want their cars to do with violence, you know. But I think they've gotten over that and I'm glad that they're allowing like as close as it is now. Like these cars are unbelievable. Like. I've seen Mercedes, like cars that are close to Mercedes, Mustangs, Corvettes, Dodge Chargers, obviously, uh, Challengers, actually, I've seen. I've seen a lot. Um, tell me any more cars that you guys have seen and that you guys like. I think I've seen some cars that look like some Ferraris as well. But anyways, this car is a very, very fun car to drift with. I'd recommend trying it out. It has a lot of power. Um, at times, can have too much power, but I mean... It's fun just sliding around, and uh, obviously I got my nice blue tire smoke with my blue rims, my orange paint job, a brand new car, just, it's sweet, and it's just, I recommend it. I want to try and get the Bugatti, uh, well the one that looks like the Bugatti, um, I haven't yet, that was pretty funny, but I haven't yet been able to uh, actually get it. I know there's a hidden spot for it, but I'm just too lazy to go there. Um, hopefully, when I'm not so lazy and I actually beat the game or something, uh, I might go around there and get it. But, uh, some sad news about this car. Okay, you guys will see in a, in a few minutes, there's that ramp that I decide to go off of in a few minutes. And, um, you guys can maybe guess what's going to happen next after going off that ramp. But, uh, it wasn't such a smart idea, that's what I'll tell you guys right now. I literally just put in probably... Fifty to a hundred thousand dollars in game on this car, and uh, it just went to complete waste, pretty much. And you'll see, I was very disappointed. I didn't even have this car for an hour, not even an hour, and this is what happens. Stupid me. I wanted to go off that ramp. You know, I just did the other one. It was pretty successful. I thought this one, eh, what could I lose, right? And um, stupid, just, just really stupid. I don't recommend doing this um especially you're just gonna blow a hundred thousand dollars in a nice car so here we go and i pretty much just totaled my uh corvette but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video of grand theft auto 5 some drifting and i will see you guys in the next one please leave a like can i get 20 likes or more comment what cars you think that you guys like and subscribe thanks see ya